as a web designer, you have been there. A client calls and say, can we do a little tweak on our border style or let's update the shadow effect across the website and suddenly you are stuck manually adjusting every module page by page and that's a nightmare for a web designer it eats up hours of your time and honestly it drains the creative energy you would have rather spend on designing something amazing sounds familiar isn't it now what if you could create a style once apply it everywhere you need and update it in just one place. Now that sounds amazing, right? That's where option group presets in DV5 comes in. A game changing feature that's about to make your life a whole lot easier. Now, in case you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you're done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it helpful. So what are option group presets? They are reusable design styles you can create for things like borders, shadows, spacing, typography and pretty much any design settings you use often. You apply these presets to any module on your site, mix and match them as you need and when it times for change, you update the preset once and every element using it gets updated instantly. It's that simple. Now picture this, you are designing a site with a bunch of columns and other modules. With option group presets, you can set a preset for every module like border shadows, spacing, typography and lot other. Apply it to all your modules and you are done. Then your client says, let's make the border radius sharper. Just go ahead and tweak the preset and every module that's using that preset will be updated in seconds. So no more hunting through your site and no more repetitive edits. You are saving time and keeping your sanity intact. Now you might be thinking, didn't DV already have element presets? Yes, we do. And they are awesome for locking in style for specific elements like buttons or sections. But option group presets take it to the next level. They let you create flexible, reusable styles that works across different elements, buttons, images, cards, you name it. Now let's get real for a second. Think about the last time you had to make a site-wide style change. How long did it took you? And how frustrating was it to double check every element to make sure you didn't miss one? With option group preset, that headache is gone forever. You can tweak styles globally in seconds, not hours and get back to the fun part of your job and that is creating amazing designs. And it's not just for borders and shadows. You can create preset for typography, colors, backgrounds, spacing effects, sizing, layouts, positioning and even animations. If you can use a style more than once, it's worth turning that into a preset. All right, so here we are inside our DV5 Visual Builder and let's see how we can use the option group preset to design this page. So first we have this section here on the very top. So let's say we want to add a background gradient to this. So we go to settings and here we have background option and we can simply go to gradients and then click on whatever color we want to add to a gradient just like that. So let's say this is the final look of my gradient that I want to go for. And now in order to use this gradient on various other modules of my page, the best way to do that is to create an option group preset of this gradient only. So for that, I need to go to this icon here. Here you can see I have already created few presets. One is for plain background white. One is for blank where I have no background and another one is lime which is almost like this one that I have already created. So in order to create a new preset, we have an option here, new preset from current style or maybe we can just click on add new preset and define whatever I want in that particular preset. So right now we are going to use new preset from current style. So if I click on this, here I can give my preset a name line two and if I want to change the gradient I can do that from here or if in case I want to change anything else I can go ahead and edit all these settings and not just that if I want to add any background image I can do that from here so let's say for this particular one I want to add a background image as well so I'm just going to do it here like this so now I have a gradient as well as a background image for this preset and once I am satisfied with my preset, I can simply go ahead and save preset. 
And now I can use this preset to add it on various other elements on my page. Now if I want to add the same style here on this column, I just simply need to click on this column here and then go to background. Here click on this icon where it says select a group preset. And now I see I have my Lime 2 preset listed here. If I click on this, here you can see the same style got applied here as well. And I can repeat the same for all these columns. But along with this background, I want to add something more to this column. So I come back here and if I go in design, I have some more presets that I have created for border as well as box shadow. So for border, I have this border one preset. So if I click on this, it's going to add this black border all around. And if I go ahead and click on my box shadow, I have few presets here as well. So if I select black box shadow, it's going to add a shadow effect like this. And now I can use these three presets to apply the same effect on all the other columns that I have here. And we can repeat the same for various other modules on this page. Now how can we make our option group preset as default? So whenever we add a new element, that particular preset gets applied. Now let me show you what happens when I create a new section. So I click on this and I create a new regular section with maybe three columns. And I'll add simple text here. So we go ahead and use text. Same for second column. And same goes for the third one. Now if I go ahead and click on my first column and go to background, here I can see the default one is set as blank. Now of course I can go ahead and change it to lime or whatever preset I want. But how about if I go ahead and set this lime gradient as the default for my column preset. So let me show you how it is done. So we go back again in background. And if we mouse over on lime preset, here we have a star option which says assign preset as default. So if I click star, it's going to make this as a default preset. But we need to be very cautious here because it's going to get reflected on all the places where we have used white or blank as our default preset. So if I click on yes, it's going to update to all the places which might not look good. So for now, I'm just going to make my blank one as default. So this will look pretty decent now. Now, as mentioned before, we already have element presets in TV. So how we can combine the element preset with our group presets. So let me show you how it's done. So let's take the example of these three columns again. So right now I am on this column here. If we go in our column settings, we have the element presets. And here I have created a custom preset, which is column level preset. So if I click on this, it's going to apply a little bit of effect on my column. And once again, I can do the same for my column number two. I can go ahead and use the default one or I can add my custom one here. But if you notice, it's not going to add the background effect like this. So now I can just go ahead and select my column and simply choose my group preset here, which is the lime background. And not just that, I can go in design and in borders, I can select my border one preset. Now before defining our element preset or group preset, make sure we work in such a way that they do not contradict with each other. For example, if I go ahead and apply my box shadow here, like black shadow box preset, it's going to override my element preset. So we need to make sure that we define our presets in such a way that they don't overlap or contradict with each other. But we can definitely use our element preset and group preset together like this one. Now here comes the best part. If we go ahead and edit anything in our preset, it will automatically get reflected on all the modules or elements where we have used that preset. Let me show you how it works. For example, no matter what column I have selected, if I go in design and for my box shadow preset, this one, if I go ahead and click on this settings icon to edit my preset, and here, let's say instead of black, I go ahead and choose this color as my shadow. 
So as you can see, it instantly getting reflected on all the places where I have used this preset. If I want to use green, it's get updated instantly on all the places. So this is how we can change a global preset and it will automatically get reflected on all the places. This is going to save a lot of time while designing our website. And once we are done with our changes, we simply need to click on save preset. And this is going to update our group preset with the new styling. So if you are ready to ditch your repetitive styling grind, keep your design consistent and make update faster than ever, option group presets in Divi 5 are here for you. Get started with Divi 5 today and unlock the whole level of speed and control in your web design projects. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and Divi updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.